Welcome to my quick little video on how to get hand lettering on top of your photos and in your blog posts. I'll be using Adobe Photoshop for this, but it can also be used on Photoshop Elements and I believe also in Sumo. So definitely check your program and see if your program has some of these processes and see if you can use it as well. So to start out, what we're going to do is hand letter on paper, and you've seen the photo in the post about that. After we hand letter on the paper, we are going to take a photo of that hand lettering and email it to ourselves. So right here I have my picture, and I've emailed it to myself. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up with Photoshop. Aha! Uh -huh. We will rotate that so that it's straight. There we go. So you can see by this photo, it's just a piece of computer paper that I wrote on. That's it. We are going to do a few different things to make it perfect so that we can use it on a photo. First, just to kind of get some of the background or the area I don't want out of the photo, I'm going to crop it. You really don't have to do that, but I don't like to see the other stuff in there. All right, then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my dodge tool, which dodge tool is down here. You can see it looks like a, I don't know what it looks like, a ball with a stick coming out of it. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be really. I'm going to make it kind of big. And what the dodge tool does is it makes whites lighter. It basically takes color out of the photo. It, it's kind of like an eraser, but you can see that I can go over some of the darker colors and it doesn't really do anything. But with the lighter colors, it will totally take out a lot of this background. What well, our goal is to have a clean white background with no evidence really of the color of the paper or any coloration variations from your camera. This is actually also how I take white backgrounds out of a lot of my product photos when I do Friday Faves and stuff. You have to be really careful because if the subject of your photo is not dark, like this is a dark navy so it's not being affected by the dodge tool too much, it actually is being affected, you just can't tell really. But if say my marker was yellow, it would pretty much go away along with the dodge tool. So that's just something to be aware of. All right. So now we have my handwriting with a totally white background. You can see that I kind of chopped it up. It doesn't have to be exactly the same layout as you're going to use long term because like anything else in Photoshop, you can cut and move things as you want them. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I want to turn this lettering, instead of blue, I want it to be black. Now I used a blue pen just to show you that regardless of the pen you use or the marker you use, you still want to do this step. You want the lettering to be as black as possible. So what I'm going to do is image adjustments. First I'm going to take out all the saturation. So I'll go to my saturation adjustment and pull it all the way down. Okay. So that takes out any of the color, but it's still not very black. It's kind of light, maybe like a dark gray. So I'm going to go back over to image adjustments and then come down to gradient map. Gradient map makes whites whiter and blacks blacker. 
What I'm going to click on in the gradient map is the black to white gradient right here. And then this color stop triangle, I'm going to take it and pull it down about halfway. And you see my lettering just got really dark. And I'm going to leave it like that. Click OK, click OK, and we are well on our way. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to pull up a photo that we want to use and superimpose this lettering on top of. You actually don't even have to do that. If you want from here, you can just use the lettering in you know, even a collage or something, just using the regular tools. You can cut and move it and put it where you want. But I want to put it on top of a photo. So I am going to open a photo. this one a nice little this is our Christmas tree from this year that we planted outside um, I shoot in raw so this camera raw program always kind of pops up so I can do some slight adjustments I'm just gonna go ahead and open that photo all right so what I want to do now is I want to move my lettering onto the photo I'm going to copy the script, the words hand lettering, and I'm going to put it right on there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other little pieces. tedious process and that is we will remove all of the white from behind the lettering so I picked on my I guess it's like a color selection tool over here and I'm gonna select all of the white oh I have to be on the right layer first so I'm gonna select all of this white Actually, it might work better just to select the whole thing. Okay, so I selected the whole white, and then what I'm going to do is make my brush about the same width as my writing. I'm going to push Alt. You see the little negative sign inside of the circle? it'll take out part of the, your selection. So I'm gonna take out the actual writing so that when we get rid of the white and cut it out, it doesn't also cut out our lettering. remove that white and now I'm going to do the same exact thing on both of these other pieces of hand lettering.
have cleaned up all the white background. Now is the fun part. Basically you can make your type any color you want by doing a separate color layer and then cutting, basically you cut out the color layer around the lettering, but that's actually really easy. So let me show you how it's done. So I want this lettering to be white. So I'm gonna add a layer and then I'll go over here to my colors, choose white, and then just turn the whole page white. So this layer, what I want to do is put it right above, so you can see I've put it right above layer one, which layer one is the script words hand lettering, and I'm going to put the white layer right above my hand lettering layer. Then I'm going to hover between these two layers with my little mouse and click Alt and you'll get this like weird little arrow. Click that arrow. And you see that turns your lettering into the color that you made this layer out of. So I could go back to this layer now actually and turn it, I don't know, pink if I wanted to. And you see then the lettering will turn pink. I actually do want it white. So I'm gonna make it white. And then I'll do the same thing. You actually, I'm just gonna duplicate this white layer. And I'll put it above the two other pieces of lettering I have. Same thing, hover between them, push Alt, and then click. Hover between them, click, click Alt, and then click and you've just made all of your type white. After this, just because we have all of these layers, once I get it exactly how I want, I will merge them together. So I'll merge each white layer together with the font layer. So then, if I do want to move them around separately or something, I'm not worried about the two layers and how they overlap with each other. But I'm gonna move these layers down a bit just so that we're in the trees and the white shows up really well. And there we go. We just put and post our hand lettering on top of our photo. It looks great. I'm going to crop here and save it. Thank you guys for joining us for this little Photoshop tutorial. I hope you enjoyed yourself. It's a little bit uh, tedious there when you're cleaning all the letters out, but it's really exciting to be able to put something pen to paper and then get that online easily without having a tablet or something of that nature. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to clarify. Thanks so much.